good health, a growing number of children being diagnosed with diseases that were usually reserved for adults, and that includes inflammatory bowel disease. Our Dr. Frank George is in the newsroom tonight to explain why doctors aren't sure what's causing the increase in cases. Inflammatory bowel disease includes Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Now, the exact cause is likely different for every given person, but there are inherited, acquired, and autoimmune components, all making the reason for the increase in children difficult to identify. That me hooked up to this thing. FaceTime with friends is necessary for 14-year-old John Bell's hospital stays. Yep. For several years, the teenager has battled an extreme and painful form of inflammatory bowel disease called severe ulcerative pancolitis. When medications did not help, he and his family made the tough decision to have his entire colon surgically removed. I was stuck. I couldn't move. Just everything hurt. Inflammatory bowel disease mostly affects adults, but doctors say cases in children even under age 6 have been rising at a fast pace. We used to consider that very rare, but they've been the fastest rising in terms of overall incidence of the disease. Doctors do not know why, but suspect changes in the environment, like diet or antibiotic exposures, may be altering the microorganisms in the GI tract. A red flag for IBD in kids is a failure to grow as much as expected, as well as abdominal pain and bowel troubles. It's a potentially embarrassing subject, but John Bell says talking about it is crucial. You need to be able to explain how you're feeling to be able to get better and to know there is a light at the end of the tunnel. To get better and get back to being a typical teenager. Now, children diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease tend to have more severe cases than adults, and they are also at a higher risk for colon cancer. Often it can be controlled with medication, but otherwise surgery might be necessary. Either way, the first step is a diagnosis.